Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to see Pascal's triangle. So how to print the Pascal's triangle in a C language. So let us look at here what is Pascal's triangle. It started from the one, uh, the row contains just a one. In another row it contains one, then there is a space, then one. One space, two space, one. One space, three space, three, one. One, four, six, four, one. So this is just the addition 1 2 3 2 1 3 here 1 3 4 3 3 6 3 1 4 so how to print it so for that purpose in a last floyd triangle we have seen the number of rows are there then how many characters in the number of rows and then actual characters so what we need we need here actually uh, i am going to declare int the row Suppose I have to print suppose the five row here the five rows are there so five rows comma but we need we need the first i uh, that is called a loop variable for for loop because we have five number of rows so this will indicate the number of rows j the number of character in the row that's why it is an inner loop and again we have some spaces so in that there is a space this is a space this is also space so we can say there is a variable called as a space and actual we are going to print these things so we can say it as a k in case of pascal's triangle it is called as a coefficient so initially it is one so we are going to initialize it to one now what we need we have to declare the rows as a five so we need to enter the for loop it will contain the outer loop it will indicate that how many number of rows are there so i is equal to 0 so how many number of rows are there i less than equal to actually um, 5 or we can say row by changing just initial values of row we can change the row uh, we can initialize it to strictly less than we are starting from i is equal to 0 that's why and i plus plus so this is outer loop so for outer loop we'll have this block so where we have to enter first of all uh, spaces so i can say a space so initialize uh, because with the one we have a space first so space equal to um, starting from one space how many spaces should be there so it should be less than equal to row so depending upon which row we are using row 1 or row 0 row minus i we have space plus plus so what it will tell at it will take the initial value equal to 1 then it will less than equal to row minus i suppose row is 5 so 5 minus i initially 5 minus 0 it is 4 so it will just have 4 spaces first and it will stop by printing 1 so the printing 1 is required the next for loop but here we have to print what we have to print we have to print space okay so printing of the space is done this is for the what we call it as the space for loop now next we'll have again the next for loop that is called as a inner for loop that is equal to j it is initialized to be zero and it should be attached with the i so j less than equal to i j plus plus so we'll have j's block now so in that j's block suppose i and j it has same value and it will it will be zero so at that time if i and j if i and j it has same value zero then we are going to print the value equal to one so here for initially i equal to 0 what will have j is also 0 so we will print 1 
again if i is 0 j is 0 we are going to print it 1 i is 0 j is 0 or anything we are going to print it 1 for i different and j different we are going to print it as a separate 2 so what we are going to do for initially in a for block i am going to compare using operator that if j equal to 0 or i equal to 0 then the coefficient is equal to 1 else else the coefficient value that is equal to coefficient multiply by the value of i minus j plus 1 and it is hold divided by j so this will be the next coefficients value and then we are going to print it here what we are going to print percentage d in a quote actually percentage d comma coefficient and when we come outside we are going to print new line character semicolon save it right so we need to print just the coefficients so look at here 1 1 1 1 2 1 1 3 3 1 1 4 6 4 1 so spacing is remaining in here so we can give it by using percent 4 d as a specifier so it will give us 1 1 space 1 1 space 2 space 1 1 space 3 space 3 space 3 1 and so on so in this way we can print this particular pascal triangle. so by increasing the row to suppose 8 we can print it the number of rows so in this way the pascal triangle can be printed thank you for listening my lecture